Now that we have the user interface of our application, let's code the functionality. Again, the first thing that we need is to name our elements. So I'm going to select my text edit for the height and I'm going to write an ID. Take a look at this, how it has an ID, edit text one. I'm going to change this for height, edit, text. I'm going to select the other one. And I'm going to change its name to weight, edit, text. I also need to select the label for the result and I'm going to change this to result text view. Finally, I'm going to select the button and I'm also going to change this to calculate button. And there you go, we have named our elements. But so the next thing that we need to do is to, of course, access those elements that we define in the user interface from the C-sharp file. We need to define these elements in here and then assign them to the values that they have in here on the XML. So let's define first a button that is going to be the calculate button. We also need a text view for the result text view and then edit text for both the height and the width sorry weight there we have it we have these four elements the exact same four elements that we have here a edit text another edit text, the button, and the text view. We don't care about these text views because we're not going to be changing anything from them. Now, in the onCreate method, we're going to assign the values from these elements to the elements that I've just defined in the c -sharp file. So, for example, I get calculate button is going to be equal to Find view by ID of type button. And this is a method. Well, I, the constructor takes an ID that I can get from BMI calculator dot Android dot resource dot ID dot calculate button. So in this path is where I can find my calculate button that I defined right from the main.xml. And we need to do the exact same thing for the result text view. Do the same for the height edit text. And finally, the same for the weight edit text. And now we should be able to use these elements just the way we use them on iOS. So remember that we had the calculate button and in this case this, this has a click event and we're going to do the exact same thing that we did on iOS. We create this new method that will execute whenever this event is fired. And now we're going to create a variable. Actually, let's make it float already. And the first one is going to be height and it's going to be equal to float dot parse. And what are we going to parse? The height edit text dot text. And now we're going to have the float. We're going to have to do the exact same thing for the weight. And once we have this, we can calculate the BMI. And this is going to be equal to weight divided by height times height and now that I have this I can access the result text view dot text and assign it to BMI dot to string great now let's 
already change the things that we changed in the past on our iOS application. Select your edit text and you're going to want to navigate to input type in the properties inspector and here we're going to select number decimal and we're going to do the same thing for the weight edit text input type number decimal great let's let's run this but for you to run this there is something very important that you have to do notice how right now it says debug and it only says iOS simulators there is no option for an Android simulator well that is because in your solution explorer notice how the iOS project is kind of like selected in some way what you have to do is select your bmi.calculator.android project right click it and you're going to want to make this your startup project once you have made it your startup project, notice how now that is the project that is selected. And if you go to debug, you can select one of your virtual devices, if you already have one, or you can manage your Android devices. We are going to talk about those virtual devices in the next lecture. Hi, thanks all for watching this video. If you enjoy it or you want to learn more about Xamarin and C Sharp, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want access to the full Xamarin course that I have in Udemy, I'll make sure to drop a very good discount in the description down below. Very good discount, you should check it out. So, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video or inside the course. Bye-bye. That was good.